what's going on guys welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back yay anyways yes episode one is in the books let's get to these episode two and three all right so sons of anarchy man great story clay looking real pathetic right now and I don't feel sorry for him at all. Gemma. Ah, uh, Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. I don't know what to think about her character. I really don't. Because I can't... You know, I don't like to see bad stuff happening to her. Um, you know, but also, you know, her and Tara butting heads. I don't know where that's heading. You know, but I hope it's not down a bad road. That's only thing I hope for but any case we got introduced to two new characters which is is this character that's going to be a um, safe haven for Jax um, Nero 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 I think Nero is his name um, um, you know you got Nero and you also got we finally got to meet Pope which is the one that's actually in charge of the Niners uh, he runs Oakland, it seems. Uh, but, you know, he got revenge for his daughter by killing Tig's daughter in a very gruesome way in front of him, too. Oh, that was tough. That was a tough one. Because, you know, as, as a person who's just sitting down and watching this show, I can't imagine what Tig is going through, but we also got to consider the fact that we know what Tig has done. You know what I'm saying? We know what he did. We know how he went after dude. You know what I'm saying? Killing the daughter. Killing uh, um, Pope's daughter, man. And he was just... So now he wants to destroy his, the sons. Uh, I don't know what Tig's response is going to be to this, but we'll see we'll see but in any case everything is kind of working in a way where we don't want it to see the the cia jack's kind of telling them it is like hey we can out you just as much as you can out us you know what i'm saying so because that's what i'm saying it's like a leverage thing because the, the thing about it is that you don't know what i'm gonna say and you don't know what people is gonna investigate i could go on the news right now and tell everybody that you, you guys are funding the war you guys are funding the cartel war and i got receipts you know what i'm saying i could do that so they do have some sort of luck i mean of course they're gonna try to take you out before you say anything you know what i'm saying because i'm pretty sure they have people watching jacks 24 7s it's just how it is you, you know with you know when it comes out to government agencies and if you're an asset they're gonna have you watched 24 7s you know whether you like it or not whether you are aware of their presence or not so let's see how this turns up so let's jump into these reactions and i will see you guys for the review what's going on guys welcome back all right so let's get the tears out of the way um so i i was not expecting this i really i was not expecting this at all um it it caught me off guard but not to the point where you know um where i can say that this was it it, it was a long time coming you know so i'm not gonna sit here and make it seem like you know it it completely caught me off guard you know but it doesn't go away from the fact that it was it was sad and it was unexpected at this present moment that we're in so early into the season and I think that's where it caught me off guard so early in the season if this had happened at the end of the season I wouldn't be saying this you know it's just so early in the season episode three in season five what happened you know what i'm saying and i always gotta ask what happened because a lot of times what made them make that decision did he want to go do something else did the actor want to go do something else 
doing the show for four seasons maybe they wrote him off the show because he wanted to go do something else maybe he was doing another tv show i don't think it was around the time he came on the walking dead was it i don't think so because i mean he didn't have that much screen time on the walking dead when he i mean what are we talking season eight of the walking dead if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong i don't remember exactly <laughs> you know so i'm just saying for me to look at this and be like all right i did not expect that you know we know that you know uh, um that op has been trying to go out somewhere somehow he was a very conflicted character very conflicted character with so many different things i thought he was going in you know and he was gonna get back out with him he just wanted to watch Jax's back because especially because of what clay said to him is like they're going in you know but i think he made the decision and be like i don't know what Jax was going to do but i think i think i think they were going to jump the 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 um I think they were going to jump the guards, you know, and probably beat him up or something. That wouldn't have gone very well, <laughs> you know. So Opie taking the, I I think I think I think they were gonna it's either they were gonna jump the guards or Jax was going to to do it and take a, and take the fall and see what was going to happen if they were gonna. If, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All I know is <sighs> OP deciding to 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 take the fall and I I it's brilliant writing, but at the same time, me as a viewer, as a person who's enjoying this show, is disagree. <laughs> Because I, it, he's one of my favorite characters in the show. Definitely top, you know what I'm saying, top five. Definitely top five character in the show for me. Um, and them taking him out like that, man. Um, <sighs> great sending off. But the stuff that is happening, you know what I'm saying, we barely saw anybody but the Suns for, the, for, for like episode three and four. We barely saw anybody else but them. It was just all about them and what they were going through, you know. And Tig, you know, getting out. Pope showing his reach. You know, it's tough. This dude has a big um, stick he's swinging around. You know what I'm saying? It's just what it is. You can't do anything about it. That's just just, just what's happening. You just got to deal with it. Um, but I think they're going to figure something out to get Pope out of the way, though. Because he's, he's, he's an obstacle. You know what I mean? He's an obstacle. And he's going to find out some things. You know? I think he's going to get in the way of a lot of things. And I think he's going to be have to get taken care of. So... Yeah, Gemma, Tara, Wendy, that situation is just, you know, the deal that Jax just made, I think, is going to um, serve them in the end. I think it's a good idea to let Nero do what he's doing. Um, him not messing around with Gemma is a good idea to get, you know what I'm saying? He needs to stay clear of everything that goes on with this club and i want to i don't want him to get dragged into any of it because that's the thing about you know you know when you're a criminal everything you touch turns to shit nothing good comes out of it it is just how it is and we just got to deal with it you know me being so immersed into this feeling like i'm part of the club you just got to come to terms and realize, hey, I'm a criminal. This is just how shit goes. <laughs> you know, acceptance. As our boy would say, I accept that. <laughs> right? So, this is not... 
the greatest thing to ever happen you know in the series or anything like that but it just goes to show you a lot of times it was not an arbitrary decision this is not like them killing off like say a jesus from the walking dead this is definitely was a well-written death i didn't expect it to happen but it was well done it was well done i didn't feel like it was a spur of the moment decision you get what i'm saying from a writer's perspective I feel like this was a long time coming and it was being set up. Um, I just, you know, looking back at it, there was a lot of cues. I just, they were well hidden, but there were some cues that, you know, it is a possibility that he was going to die this season. There were some cues there and earlier on in like episode one and two. And there were some, you know, if you look back at certain things, you know, him just, just doing certain things man that you know from they did it brilliantly to 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 not give it away you know what i'm saying and it we till you're in the moment till you're you know what i'm saying to till you're in the moment and you're like oh shit you know what i'm saying so i really do i like that it's one of the things i love about this series the writing is incredible um you know, and ah, it w it was a tough scene to watch. It was a tough scene to watch. You know, I, I I shed the tears. The tears came. I couldn't stop them. But it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man. R.I.P. to the one and only Ope Opie. You know what I'm saying? One and only, man one and only they're one of the best characters in the show hands down better than most you know better than most my opinion opie was you know what i'm saying he was definitely my second favorite character right under jacks hands down no question about it he's no he, he's number two for me um and now he's out it's it, it was tough to watch but at the same time it happened so i just gotta accept it so see you guys later hopefully you guys enjoyed it um i know this video is probably gonna get a lot of views because people like to see watch reactions to certain things <laughs> but it is what it is leave a like leave a comment i'm out peace